Hello everybody, greetings from Chennai in India. There is a common traditional herb added to cuisine as a spice, especially in preparing non-vegetarian food, particularly in Southeast Asian countries. That herb is ginger, used for thousands of years in these countries. Over the years, ginger has been studied for its medicinal properties including dermatological, gastrointestinal and respiratory diseases. Ginger is derived from the root of the plant Zingiber officinale found mostly in Southeast Asian countries. Whereas in ancient India and China, ginger was used to treat pain and nausea and emesis. Its medicinal use was appreciated only in the 9th century AD in Germany and in France. Recent research has shown that ginger has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antineoplastic and antimicrobial properties. Let's first consider the dermatological uses of ginger. First, photoaging, also known as premature skin aging, results from repeated exposure to UV radiation. Clinically, this is recognized by wrinkles, mottled pigmentation, skin atrophy, and dryness. Presumably, UV radiation causes collagen degradation and prevents collagen synthesis. Ginger has been shown to protect against photoaging by virtue of its antioxidative and anti-inflammatory properties. Secondly, for hypertrophic scars, which occur due to excessive tissue proliferation with increased fibroblasts and collagen. Elimine derived from ginger reduces collagen and induces apoptosis through a P53 pathway. This reduces the thickness of the scar. Thirdly, anti-cancer effect of ginger has been clearly shown in mouse models where it blocks epidermal growth factor. Further clinical studies are required to find its efficacy in human skin cancer. Fourthly, ginger has potential therapeutic effect on atopic and allergic dermatitis. A Japanese formula called Huchu Ekin used to aid digestive function has shown good therapeutic response in atopic dermatitis with reduction in the eosinophil count. A compound from ginger called 6 Chagall has shown strong anti-inflammatory response in allergic dermatitis. Likewise, in acne, significant improvement occurred in volunteers who used black ginger formulation topically for six weeks. Fifthly, experimentally, it has been shown that ginger is a potential whitening agent because it inhibits tyrosinase activity and thereby reduces melanin synthesis. So I'm sure that in future, ginger could be added to many of the whitening creams, the so-called fairness creams, which are available in hundreds in the Indian cosmetic market. There are a few non-dermatological uses of ginger. First, gastrointestinal. The earliest use of ginger in ancient China was as a traditional home remedy for mitigating nausea and vomiting. Clinical studies in the 1980s in human beings show that with powdered zingiber, there was reduced emesis in chemotherapy-induced, pregnancy-induced, and post-operative vomiting. Secondly, analgesic effect. Ginger is shown to have analgesic effect probably through its anti-inflammatory activity being a, a COX-2 inhibitor. It has been found to reduce pain associated with migraine, dysmenorrhea and arthritis. These studies are worth pursuing since ginger is definitely a safer option than the conventional non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Thirdly, metabolic and androgenic. Ginger has been used as a supplement in patients with blood pressure, diabetes, and hyperlipidemia. One recent study showed that intake of 1,000 milligrams of ginger 
in patients on peritoneal dialysis reduced serum triglycerides significantly. Ginger exerts vasodilatory effect by blocking the voltage-gated calcium channels and thus it lowers the blood pressure. Ginger, by virtue of its antioxidative and anti-inflammatory properties, reduces oxidative stress and improves testosterone production. Fourthly, antineoplastic. There is some clinical evidence to show that ginger can be used as a preventive and also as an adjunctive therapy for malignancies like colorectal, prostate, pancreatic and ovarian cancers. What about side effects? Ginger can cause some very mild side effects, especially if used in large doses. The most common adverse effect noted is heartburn, nausea and a bloating sensation. Very rarely anaphylaxis has been reported with ginger. So, ginger, a safe, cheap food additive used down the ages in India and China is now finding a place in medical therapeutics. Thank you.